What's up guys, welcome to a new video. I hope you can understand me, probably not that good because I'm on top of a bridge on the highway and it's pretty windy. So let's clean that audio up, dial it right in so you can understand me. If you want to know how to do that, then I guess stay on the video because let's clean that audio up in post. See ya. Now of course there are several ways to approach noise reduction. The most known probably is to get a noise profile of the sounds that distract you or that are just bad and then apply a noise reduction or use a noise gate which in this case probably wouldn't be the best idea because of course a noise gate cuts out every time you don't speak and every time you speak the sound comes back on but since there is a lot of noise even while we speak the noise would just turn on every time we speak so I guess a noise gate wouldn't be the best solution. So let's first look at why getting a noise profile and then removing the noise isn't the best option in this case. I'm I'm gonna use Audacity because it's a free software that is available to everyone. As you can see, this is our audio from above the bridge on the highway. What's up guys, welcome. Pretty noisy, so let's select everything where I don't talk, go to effect, noise reduction, and then click on get noise profile. Then we can click off of our selection, click on command A to select everything, go back to effect, noise reduction and then just click OK. The normal settings should be fine. As we can see, the noise gets smaller, but our voice stays right there. Let's listen to it. What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Oh. A little bit better, but still some noise. Of course, we can repeat that process. Select it, go to noise reduction, click on get noise profile, then select everything again, go to effect again, noise reduction and click on OK. And we can see the noise is even smaller. But if we now listen back to it, we can hear that our voice kind of starts to fall apart. What's up guys, welcome to a new video. I hope now, of course, if we repeat that process over and over again, we get less and less noise. But of course, our voice will start to sound even worse. What's up guys, welcome to a new video. I hope it sounds kind of muffled and broken. So let's not do it on Audacity. So now we're on Logic, but the plugin we're gonna use today should work in every DAW out there in FL Studio, in Adobe Audition. It should work in every software. Yes, we're using a plugin and it costs a little bit of money. The plugin I'm talking about is Clarity VX and it's from Waves. Again, it does cost a little bit of money. This video is not sponsored, it's my honest opinion. I'm just so impressed by this plugin because it's really worth the money and it can save you on a lot of projects, even client projects, when you have a lot of noise. Even if you just have a bad mic and you want some good audio, this is the plugin you should go for and it's just $30, which is really worth the money. And they have sales going on very often where you get more plugins. It's just very great. This plugin is basically like magic. It's AI based and it's like people imagine Autotune to you just turn a knob and suddenly you start to sing great. This one you just turn a knob and you don't have any noise. It's, it's really magic. So once you have installed it with the Waves installer, you can just go to your effects, click on Audio Units, Waves, Clarity VX. Here you have the mono and the stereo option. I'm going to click on the stereo option. And here we have just one big dial. I'm going to shut up now. We're going to listen to our audio while I turn it up and you can just hear how the noise disappears. What's up guys, welcome to a new video. I hope you can understand me, probably not that good because I'm on top of a bridge on the highway. Now we have two different neural networks, Broad 1 and Broad 2. Broad 1 is better for keeping voice details and Broad 2 is better for severe ambience and keeps mostly main voices. In this case, I think Broad 2 even sounds a little bit better. Now of course, then you can apply your normal voice editing. I would use this effect first to just get rid of the noise and then add your EQ compressor and stuff. I'm not really an audio expert, but of course you can edit your voice however you want. Now the best part about this is once you have installed it and it's there in Logic, if you use Final Cut, which you should because it's the best editing software out there, you can just go to your effects, type in Clarity VX and the plugin is even there in Final Cut. I thought when I bought it, it's a nice saver for some good audio, but I have to export the audio every time, get it into Logic, remove it, get it back here to Final Cut. But no, I don't have to because it's right there in Final Cut. We don't have the knob in Final Cut, but a numberish thing to dial in our noise reduction. I just keep it at 600 most of the time because if you apply too much the voice can fall apart again but if you're at 600 the noise should be gone and the voice is still crisp so there's that. You can use it in Logic and Final Cut. You don't even have to sponsor me. This plugin is just insane. Buy it. Just buy it. Right now click on the link in the description. It's not even an affiliate link but buy it, you won't regret it. Now that's it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more videos just like this one here on top of a bridge. And yeah, you can watch more videos right here and right here and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Also, you can uh, subscribe right here, but uh, I'm gonna go now because I feel watched. And let's switch back to the original audio. Goddamn, this is loud probably.